Hi, right, welcome back to Mafia 3. Today, pretty sure we got most of the pretty much intro story, cutscene, all that stuff out of the way. Had a lot of character build up, a lot of story build up, but now it's today it's time to probably go do some more exciting stuff. Except I can't remember that squares to actually get in the car. I keep thinking it's triangle. It's alright. Maybe I'll maybe I'll get it by the end of the game. Oh, my headphones are way too. I'm gonna be like yelling into the mic if I don't turn this shit down. I'm gonna be screaming. It's not gonna be good, I'll tell you that much. Well, I try to wait until I get to this destination. I'm gonna be deaf by the time I get to the end destination. The brakes are nice. Alright, let's get the hell out of here. I like, turned down my headset a little bit. That was awful. How you doing? Oh, we get to sit on a bench. If you we get to sit and wait on the bench. It's okay to live near your own. Just hang out here, taking the sights. People watch, car watch. Heard they're flying James L. Ray back this week. Still amazes me they expect us to believe it was one man who did in Dr. King. It's too easy. Too bad. Let's say he was the one who shot Dr. King. Just him and no one else. What if it's really that easy to strike down a great man like Dr. King, President Kennedy, Brother Malcolm? Then nothing in this country will ever change. Now you struggle and you sweat and someone can take it all away just like that. Yeah, people are assholes. I mean, there's really nothing else to it other than people are fucking assholes. Oh, here are the cops. Maybe you can give me a taste later on. The hell? Who, who said that? Was that the cop or was that like someone over here? That was pretty funny. Called a chocolate pudding and then asked for a taste. I would save that line, but then again, I'd probably get uh, horribly assaulted for using that on anybody, so I'll probably just never say. Let's see. Informants work the criminal rackets around New Bordeaux. Find and interrogate them to learn about objectives associated with rackets. To interrogate the Haitian informant, isolate him through combat or stalking, then approach him to start the interrogation sequence. All right. And we about to take them apart piece by fucking piece. If that don't work, we just take a sledgehammer to the whole goddamn thing. For true. Alright, so who knows where he's gonna go. That guy's coming this way. He's probably gonna see me. The thing that surprises me the most is how much these crackers <clears throat> love black pussy. These crackers love enslaving African women. Let's get that street from the start. You do understand what we're doing here, right, Fred? <laughs> Fight, fighting for freedom. Fute, freedom don't mean shit without power. Comprend? Yeah, yeah, comprend. And that's what all these notes do? Give us power? They are the key to unlocking the power for ourselves. What these Dixie boys do, how they do, why they do, it's all right here. All right, well, that was probably high time to go and interrogate him. I still don't really know how to interrogate him, like, I'm probably going to walk up and beat his ass and then fail the mission because I really don't know how to do it. Alright. He's probably going to see me coming from a mile away too now. Let's see. Yeah, he's totally going to see me when I walk up. I can always whistle, right? Let's see. Where'd he come from? Oh, well. Sadly, it seems like I alerted someone else too. We all want Dixie out of the hollow. Give me your boss and I'll make it happen. Fuck. Shit. Get to the voodoo shop. You'll find the boss there. Sorry about the headache, brother. Ah. He just knocks him out. Well, hey, that worked out. I actually didn't end up alerting anyone. Surprising. Well, time to get out of here. Excuse me. So I'm playing a trumpet? Oh, yeah, dude's well, playing a trumpet. How you doing? Guy's playing the trumpet over there. It sounds pretty good. Oh man, I almost ran someone over. Someone was eating a sandwich behind me. I almost ran over. That could have been bad. I already knew how to change the radio. I've been changing the radio a little bit here and there. There's probably really not going to be any songs that I really like, so. Who knows? 
Better than no music, I guess. It's probably, I mean, I don't think I really have that many songs from, like, I don't know, the 50s and 60s that I really enjoyed, so. Alright, well, I gotta get here, right? I can climb this pole? Probably not. I can't climb the pole, nope. I don't know what I'm doing here. Find a way inside the house. Guess I'm sneaking around. Oh, this thing, I only did this, like, one time. It's not too hard, though. There you go. Should I sneak through the house or should I gun everyone down? I should probably sneak through the house. He's probably upstairs. Is he in here? Is that him over there? I can't tell. I think I think it's like a like a statue or a figurine over there. Oh, I just have to wait. We just have to sit in this super shiny couch and wait. I thought he was gonna be in here. Here we go. Oh, he's just pointing a gun at her. Coffee? Nice trick you pulled back at the Haitian camp. Ten Baka was holding you prisoner. And I yelled, you are dead. It appears we both full of surprises. Certainly does. <laughs> what can I do for you, Lincoln Clay? I want you to help me kill Sal Marcano. I see. A few months ago, you was trying to kill me. Now you break in here and expect me to trust you? Now that Marcano's back in the Dixie Mafia, it's only a matter of time till they come for you. And when they do, they'll kill everyone standing in their way. Lest I hitch my horse to your wagon, so to speak. I'll see to it that you get the hollow. After that, depends on how things shake out. Do you know why Sammy and I were at war? On account of you going after the lottery? Please. Just because you don't want to face some uncomfortable truths ain't a reason to act naive. Sam and I were fighting because the people in Dahala deserve better than a two-faced old man who handed out cans of food whenever the mood hit him. Who always did what Sal Marcana told him to do, even if it pitted him against his own people. He did the best he could. And yet his best didn't amount to much, did it? That's some strong words there. Once I have to holler, I run it as I see fit. No questions asked. Long as you give me access to your muscle, your connections, and a place to hold up from time to time, you can do what you want. She's thinking about it. She's thinking on it. Marcana replaced Sammy with a man named Richie Doucette. Do you know of him? Assume he's Dixie Mafia. He's a wooster. Likes to kidnap black teenagers and take them out to the bayou. After starving them for a few days, he cuts them loose, tells them to run. Sometimes he brings out the dogs. You know, for old time's sake. That's how he killed my sister. I really don't know what to believe from her. all I have left. I really don't. How do I find him? It's still dangerous around here for him, so he stays on the move. But his men operate out of the community church in the old theater, Pearl, as it used to be called. It was named after Sammy's wife. I'm taking it down first. One of my men have been staking it out. Seeing what he can learn about how it's being run, you should talk to him and see what he knows. Once I deal with it, I'll see about the church. Now, I don't really know what to believe from her because she's the woman that we saved. We didn't really save her, I guess, but... Oh, what's going on over here? This guy, this guy sells like ammunition. 
Associate gained arms dealer. And I got a trophy too. Buy weapons and equipment on the go. By recruiting Cassandra, you've gained access to her associate, the arms dealer. As you increase as you increase earn for your underbosses, they will give you access to their associates and upgrade to their services. Could be good, but I don't know if I I don't know if it's really gonna be necessary. I guess we'll see. Basic arms dealer has a mobile weapons and equipment store. You can view future upgrades for the arms dealer in the assets menu under associates and upgrades. Jesus. I have the hiccups. Great. Alright. Let's see. So we got kill lists. These are all the people we have to kill. I'm guessing. At some point. Or all the people that we can kill. Got Dixie Mafia. No intel. So it seems like we got a bunch of little underbosses. Then a couple people who, may, who might be a little bit higher up. And we got good old Sal Marcano there. Marchano, Marcano, whatever the fuck his name is. He's going to be Sal dead for all I care by the end of the game, hopefully. So we got we got a nice list here of people to kill. Eventually. We only have, uh, let's see. I guess this is just stuff about the Dixie Mafia. What did it say about prostitutes? Trafficking black prostitutes out? All right, that's not good. Never mind. That's not good at all. Let's see. Let me see these assets here. Oh, so I can probably get, like... I don't know. I guess we'll run into more stuff as time goes on. A couple more people we'll run into. We don't know anything about them just yet, so... Check her. Cassandra. Age unknown. Leader of the Haitian mob, which she runs out of a voodoo shop. Talks about a lot of... Probably just background story, biography. Something about analysis. Here's rackets and intel. This is what I wanted to see because I was trying to see what you could get. Steal guns from the Dixie Mafia and deliver them. Got like a gunsmith and stuff. I really don't know how to like access any of this stuff. I'm not sure if I can like be out on the road and then call for the... Uh, Call for the arms dealer to show up, maybe. I mean, he's like right here in front of me right now, so. Let's see. So I have to get a bunch of income for them before she'll give me stuff. Oh, there's faster reloading, like all the way down there. Alright, so I don't, know, I don't know how much of this stuff I'll get or do. I have no idea. I guess we'll see as the game goes on. Well, it's pretty neat. I would still like to know how to call this van whenever I want, if that's possible, but I guess for now it's right in front of me. Jackie. What the hell? Why are you driving around? Oh, what the Alright, so we can buy explosives, vehicle modifications, random supplies, Lincoln upgrades, adrenaline storage. Raise vetoes earned to a hundred thousand dollars to gain all this stuff. Apparently we're gonna be doing some stuff for veto eventually. Available is a favor from Burke. Alright, well, I can't use anything there. Oh, a hot shot of adrenaline. 600 bucks? Oh, here's some, uh, here's like an armor vest. $3,000. I only have 1,200 bucks right now. Vehicle modifications. I have to get like a bunch of favors from people. Some explosives. I know this is like really stuffed up now. I can get some Molotov. $450 for a Molotov. I actually only have 57 bucks. I think I have 1200 in the safe and I have 57 on me. I think that's what that is. And we got some firearms here. What kind of guns do I even have? I have a pistol. Oh, here's how I... I think this is how I call it. That might be how I call it. Maybe I can only have two guns on me. I thought maybe I could have like a ton on me at some point, but I don't know. Maybe not. Let me see what you got. I just like super interrupted their conversation. Special weapons, rifles, sniper rifle. All this stuff is way too expensive anyway. I can't buy any of this. Sh oh, I can equip it for free. Maybe they just give me. Maybe they just give you like one gimme. Seems like they might just give you a one gimme. I'm not sure. 
What should I get? Automatic weapon? Trench 1938 drum? Trench 1938? Yeah, all this stuff is like way too expensive. This sucks. I guess I'll just equip this for free. Because why the hell not? And that's probably about all that's going to happen for now. Give me a little bit of ammo with it. Alright, we should be good. Terrible.